others say in high political offices that the border is safe, uh, these border towns are safe. It is not. Our ranch gate is 69 miles north of the bridge in Hidalgo that goes into uh, Reynosa, Mexico. A little over a day's walk. Well, actually, most of these people don't walk 69 miles. They all pay a criminal organization, mainly the cartels, uh, big money to be brought up here and let out uh, south of this Border Patrol checkpoint, four and a half miles south of our ranch on U.S. Highway 281. So they're all contributing to organized crime by paying large sums of money to be brought in here. And to give you an example, uh, the Chinese are paying 50000 the Indians are paying ten to 20000 all the Central Americans, the average is about 7,000. So, and the Mexicans, uh, uh, especially southern Mexico, are paying 3,000. So, it's a huge, huge uh, money event for the cartels, uh, probably even more lucrative than the drug business. What percentage are you seeing uh, from places other than South and Central America? The Border Patrol and Homeland Security categorize the people that are not from Mexico as other than Mexicans. And uh, prior to last night, uh, they were it was running about 73 percent of the people apprehended in the Rio Grande Valley or OTMs other than Mexican. A um, lot of Central Americans, but really from all over the, the world. And uh, we were informed last night that that number has escalated to 80 percent. So, uh, and this is this is a fact. So most of the people that we encounter here, a uh, larger percentage of them are people from other other countries other than Mexico. And we're not told about the special interest aliens. Uh, we have had Somalians here once they got on that special. Uh, uh, alien list, uh, they won't tell us that anymore, but there have been some Somalians, India, Sri Lanka, Nepal, Chinese, uh, you name it, we've had it here. <laughs> we've also uh, uh, found evidence that people from these uh, special interest countries, in particular Pakistan and Afghanistan, Iran, um, uh, are coming through our property. Uh, during one of our Texas border volunteer operations last year, uh, we had a group of 10 uh, we spotted, uh, we followed them, uh, informed the Border Patrol where they were going to come out on the highway. Border Patrol were not able to respond fast enough. They got, they climbed the fence and uh, uh, loaded up and, and left and uh, were, were not caught. But as one of them was uh, climbing over the fence, he dropped uh, a package. And that package uh, was an Urdu dictionary. Urdu is a language uh, spoken in uh, Pakistan and Afghanistan. And in that uh, uh, translation book, Urdu and English, there were a lot of phrases circled and outlined. Do you speak Spanish? Do you speak English? You must pay in dollars. So we know that uh, special interest countries, in particular countries like Pakistan or Afghanistan that are not particularly friendly with our country, are slipping through here under the disguise of and under the uh, all this other uh, activity that's going on where these families are giving up and, and the Border Patrol uh, resources are being compromised. So it's, it's easier for them to slip through this private property. And uh, that's just one example. And uh, more recently, uh, uh, within the past two weeks, some Iranian money was found in a bailout vehicle. So we know they're coming in here. Besides that Iranian money being found in a bailout vehicle up here, uh, four Syrians, which is not, you know, public news yet, but four Syrians were apprehended on the Rio Grande River uh, a couple days ago. We're never divulged the special interest aliens. Uh, but I think it's time America gets alarmed. Uh, they are, they've already come through here. It's us is the humanitarian crisis, yeah. and it's an OTM crisis. It, it just take out the factor of the women and children. It's an other than Mexican crisis right now. We're you know, being invaded by third world country people, and in those third world country people are the special interest aliens and our borders are porous. Right, we don't have time for that full report, but you can see it. It's up on YouTube now. That report is borders are wide open to terrorists. Red alert. That's uh, John Bowne's report down at the border. We'll be right back with more information about the border as well as reactions to the Supreme Court's decision yesterday at Hobby Lobby. 
Alex Jones will be joining us at the bottom of the hour with a special report on Agenda 21. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Listen up, all you preppers and survival enthusiasts. Sigma 3 Survival School has a brand new survival instructor training program that will teach you everything you need to know about survival and then license you to teach our survival programs so you can make a substantial profit from it. If you have always wanted to learn to be completely self-reliant and would like to make money at it, then check out Sigma 3 Survival School Survival Instructor Program at survivalschool.us or call 479-561-3886 today. You are now in the crosshairs. The NSA and the FBI are treating you like a criminal and monitoring your every move. Ron Paul said recently, the evidence of the totalitarian nature of this government is on display undeniably every day. What's taking place right now is a coup and the destruction of the Constitution. But a friend and patriot has discovered a loophole. Find out about the NSA loophole before they shut it down at privacylockdown.com. That's privacylockdown.com. What good is a Big Berkey water filter? We get that question a lot here at BigBerkeyWaterFilters.com. And in a word, the answer is protection. Protection from water main breaks, E. coli contamination, environmental chemical spills, pesticide runoff, chlorine taste and smell, and all forms of fluoride. Plus, Big Berkey water filters are the original gravity water filter system and most trusted on the market for a reason. Tested by multiple independent NSF EPA certified labs, they are the gold standard in water purification. At only 1.7 cents a gallon, a single set of filters can last for 5 to 10 years. That means big savings. Big Berkey, the one that's powerful enough to purify stagnant pond water. Get a Big Berkey today at BigBerkeyWaterFilters.com. GCN listeners receive 5% off all ceramic filter systems. Visit our website or call 1-877-99-BERKEY. That's 877-99-BERKEY. Big Berkey Water Filters, for the love of clean water. Hi folks, Alex Jones here with some important information. I want to tell you about Matt Redhawk and his team of patriots over at My Patriot Supply. Several years ago, Matt was sitting in his two-bedroom apartment, frustrated with the direction this country was headed, and the charlatans willing to sell us out for a quick buck. Deciding to take action, a company run by Patriots for Patriots was born. My Patriot Supply has never taken a loan or accepted outside funding. They now operate two distribution facilities and employ over 50 hardworking American men and women. It is rare to find companies who practice what they preach. And that's why I stock my pantry with high-quality storable foods from My Patriot Supply. Go to MyPatriotSupply.com forward slash Alex today for special offers on emergency food storage or call their preparedness specialist at 866-229-0927. That's 866-229-0927. Do business with someone who shares your values. MyPatriotSupply.com slash Alex. Get the most important package of information you'll ever receive in your life for only $10. The package includes three books and seven DVD programs which cover biblical miracles and prophecy. The Shroud of Turin, The Third Secret of Fatima, What Really Happened to the Catholic Church, and more. Call 800-513-0029. That's 800-513-0029. Or go to VaticanCatholic.com. That's VaticanCatholic.com. 800-513-0029. VaticanCatholic.com. Do you ever feel like you live in an alternate universe? As the stock market hits new highs, the middle class are dying. Manipulated financial markets and economic figures, chaos on our border, China and Russia bypassing the dollar. Life is getting ready to change. You need to prepare to thrive in the new economy. Go to babyboomerbackupplan.com or call 888-507-8789. That's 888-507-8789. Welcome back to the Alex Jones Show. I'm David Knight. We're going to be joined in the next segment by Alex Jones with a special report on Agenda 21. You won't want to miss that. Yesterday, we had a landmark Supreme Court decision. We had a test of government mandates to buy things versus our First Amendment rights about the free exercise of religion. And surprisingly, the Supreme Court came down on the side of the Constitution, but just narrowly. A five to four decision. 
And some of the justices on the dissenting side were very angry about that. Uh, Ginsburg wrote, anyone can assert their religious objections. This is just too radical. Yeah, freedom is a radical idea. So is individu individual liberty. And it's not just about holding beliefs. It's about the free exercise of beliefs. Kagan wrote, Congress gave this as an entitlement. This is a law. Well, the First Amendment says you shall make no law, abridging freedom of speech or the free exercise of religion. Now we have some quotes from Hillary Clinton. She said that she thought that this was very disturbing, deeply disturbing. Uh, she got very animated when she was asked about this. Uh, they say that she delivered a fiery and impassioned reply, calling it deeply disturbing, along, among other things. I want to focus on what Nancy Pelosi said, though. She had, I think, the most interesting uh, uh, take on this. Uh, she said that this is a, a gross violation of workers' religious rights. Ooh, their religious rights. Let's think about that for a moment. Is this really about the exercise of religion? We had a lot of people come back and, and say that that was shameless. They said, uh, are you on some kind of medication? Religious rights violation? You'll see a lot of these collected on uh, twitchy.com where they're laughing about what she says. She also tweeted out that uh, the SCOTUS, that's the Supreme Court, took an outrageous step against women's rights, setting a dangerous precedent that permits corporations to choose which laws to obey. To which somebody said, oh, you mean like your president and how he only obeys the laws that suit him? So they're pointing out that hypocrisy. They're pointing out that this, is, this isn't about religious rights of women, but it really is. It really is. Because, see, from Nancy Pelosi's standpoint, from the feminist standpoint, it really is a religion. You have to understand that abortion to them is like a sacrament. Listen to what the National Abortion Rights Action League said about this decision. Elisa Hoag, president of NARAL Pro-Choice America, condemned the ruling. I am saddened and disappointed and actually quite disturbed. It is a rough day in our country when five male justices rule that discrimination against women is not discrimination at all. 99% of women use birth control at some point in our lifetime. And the justices showed that they're out of touch when they support bosses who want to reach beyond the boardroom into our bedrooms. It's not what this country stands for. Okay, you heard her say that 99% of women use contraceptives. We also know that 85% of companies provided that kind of coverage before the Obama mandates. Now, boardrooms are not reaching into the bedrooms of people to stop them from doing anything that they want. The coercion is the other way around. Ron Paul had this to say, this is up on the article uh, that we have on Infowars.com. He said, I think the most profoundly confusing argument has been the argument that not being able to get free birth control is discriminating against women. This to me is utterly amazing. If somebody wants something and they wish to have something, they demand something, they say they have a right to it. That's absolutely wrong. That's why we have this runaway welfare state. That's what Ron Paul said about it. He's exactly right. They're not denying them the right to take this. What they're saying is that they have religious convictions and they cannot be compelled to violate those. And quite frankly, I think if they hadn't got, I believe that Chief Justice Roberts was blackmailed. We now know, uh, everybody knows that the government is watching everything that everybody is doing. Uh, everyone believes that now. We've been telling you that at Infowars.com for a very long time, but now it's common knowledge. Who do you think they're going to be watching most closely? Well, it's going to be the chief justices of the Supreme Court or the Supreme Court justices, people in power, congressmen. I think that's what's behind this nine to nothing decision this last week that said that they have to have a search warrant in order to search people's phones. I think the Supreme Court has been a victim of this kind of blackmail. How else could Chief Justice Roberts write both the dissenting and the majority opinion on this, do a very quick 180 saying that, this is not an unconstitutional mandate, it's simply a tax. No, it is an unconstitutional mandate. I'm very glad that Hobby Lobby and this other small company stood up for their rights, put their lives and their property on the line. That's what the founders of this country did to get their rights. We need more people like them who will take this to the mat. 
We're going to be right back with Alex Jones and a special report on Agenda 21. Stay with us. We're on the...